Inspire, fill someone with the urge or ability to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. The word was originally used to define the act of imparting a truth or idea to someone. Many people going into the education field do so with the desire to inspire their students. What some teachers come to find out is that something very different happens. Many students actually inspire their teachers. And so, we were challenged to find a student who inspires us. This is far more difficult than many of us thought. Because many of our students inspire us. To the students who inspire us, thank you. You are truly inspirational. Okay, Brayden, so I was challenged to find one student who inspired me. We were asked to think about kids who inspire us to keep teaching. Us teachers were challenged to find one student that inspires us to come to work every day. As teachers, we were challenged to find a student who inspired us to come to work every day. We were challenged to find a student who inspires us. I've been, uh, I've been challenged uh, to come up with a uh, student uh, or students that, uh, have it, that inspires us uh, as teachers. We as teachers have been challenged to find someone who inspire us. We were challenged by Mrs. Stowers to pick one kid who inspires us to come to work every single day. I chose you, and the reason why is because you are like a silent leader. And you are someone that immediately came to mind. You have an unmatched work ethic. You're here before school, after school, always asking questions. Um, I didn't think that at this time last year we'd be where we are, but we are. And it's been, you've overcome a lot. Um, when you were a freshman in my class, there were days where I was like, oh my gosh, just get the material, like, let's get through this. And then all of a sudden it just clicked. I decided that that student was you. You inspire me to be more creative in order to figure out how to reach students who struggle with literature. Being, uh, being here for so many years, I've had so many uh, good ones and so many ones that uh, really inspires me. Uh, and Jack Wall, you're one of those. I had a lot of kids. A lot of kids inspire me, but I chose you. So I picked you. So the reason I picked you is because you challenged me to find fun and creative ways to teach so you're not bored. <laughs> and that helps me with not only you, but my other students too. You're always doing what you're supposed to do and that affects the people around you. So the people who you work with, you are always like on task. You're always working, trying to learn. You, you really go the extra mile to make sure that you, you put the work in and you always have a very sociable personality. You came into basic math and you did everything I asked and then some and I started thinking, hmm, maybe this kid, maybe we could go into some other classes like algebra and then geometry and I think we were all a little nervous, um, but you absolutely had determination like I've never seen before. You inspire me to look at how to teach in a different way. You inspire me to look at what each student needs from me. On a daily basis, you inspire me to care more about the student and less about the material. You are such a good student, uh, very respectful, uh, always come every day and it's just uh, full of energy, always very polite. Uh, so even if, if I come with a uh, uh, kind of on a down mood, you always kind of pick me up just because your, your attitude and uh, your willingness to learn. You've learned to trust me. And so that, that trust for me inspires me to keep on working with kids, trying, trying, to, trying to get that trust. When your mom, oh, sorry, <laughs> when your mom came in and you, and I was telling her how well you did, your face just lit up and you were so happy. Yes, you, you have inspired me and you're definitely one of the reasons why I went into teaching and keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a great job and you are making a difference and I know that you'll continue to. 
and just when things are getting pretty tough or, or maybe there's a discipline issue that could get ugly, you are able to de defuse things with your humor and your wittiness and you are just the type of kid that I like being around and you're the reason I went into teaching, right? I want to work with kids who doesn't come easy for. Life, may, various things might not come easy for, but you just keep your perseverance going and uh, that means more to me than you could possibly imagine. Why me though? Why <laughs> are you? Like, it was pretty obvious. Out of obvious. all the people. Out of all the people that I had to choose one and you were that person. Like I said, you work the hardest out of anybody in my classes. You always come talk to me every morning. You have something nice to say. You're very sociable, very, very personable. You just have always, you're always in a good mood. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I said, I mean, and like I said, you, you definitely, I believe me, you work harder than anyone in the classes. Thank you. No problem. Now, like you come into my room and you're like, Miss Bloomberg, I had something to tell you. And it literally is a highlight of my day. So thank you for being that student for me. I have a certificate for you. So you can take that home, hang it on the fridge. I know that you can do this. And I want you to know you can do this. And you really do inspire me to try to be a better teacher. So uh, I really appreciate uh, what you do uh, for the school and for me personally. Uh, and how much you inspire me to just kind of uh, come up and, uh, and uh, always be in a good mood and uh, ready to teach. So thank you, Jack, for being uh, such a great student. Thank you for inspiring me to work to be a better teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> I knew that you wanted to do well, and I know that you can do well, and so you make me come to work every single day so that I can help you. So that certificate is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, you can keep that and you can show it to your mom. I wrote down all the reasons why I picked you. So I think you're a really good kid and I think you have good potential and that you can do good things and you should not give up. Okay, so I'm always here if you need me. Okay, thank you. Yeah.